this video I'm going to show you how to check for oil level on your motorbike. Motorbike engines don't fail very often and Honda motorbike engines basically never fail. But if you run out of oil on your journey, then the engine is going to die. Now the mechanics at Ticket are pretty good, but even they can make mistakes or you can have a problem develop on your journey over three or 4,000 kilometers, anything can happen and this can cause the motorbike to run out of oil and then have an engine failure. You can run out of oil in two different ways. One is that the bike is actually burning through oil. This can be because it's a Honda XR and the engines naturally burn oil, or the piston and piston rings are a little bit damaged, so it's burning oil that way. The way you know really is it's got white smoke coming out the back and it smells a bit like a two-stroke engine or a chainsaw. The other way you can lose oil is just through an oil leak, which is actually very, very common. And it's not a big problem, providing you're checking the oil levels every day or at least every two days. If you've got an oil leak and the oil is going down and you're topping it up because you know about it, but nothing's going to go wrong. You can drive many thousands of kilometers with an oil leak or even a damaged piston, providing the bike has oil. So this should be a daily check or at least every two days, and then you're not going to have a catastrophic failure. That's good for us and good for you. So let's get started. You got two different kinds. Some bikes like the CB have an oil window, like a glass window to check, super easy to do. And a bike like a Honda XR or a Honda Blade, you will have the old school dipstick. Not so easy, but still not a big deal. We'll start with the CB because it's super easy to check. So the first thing you need to do, it's really a two man job, but the bike has to be completely upright, straight. If you manipulate it just a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, it completely manipulates the oil level reading. So it does need to be as perfectly straight or flat as you can be. Also a hill is not gonna help. A hill doesn't matter as much as sort of left and right, but it still does make a difference. Then down here on the brake hand side on, on this bike, on the CB, you can see the glass window here, right? Now, if I tilt the bike back onto its kickstand, you'll see it looks like it has no oil. If I bring it upright, you can see the oil window comes to about halfway. And if I tilt it towards me, the oil window is gonna be full. So that's why it's really important to keep the bike flat. Now it does have a marker on here to tell you where the oil level should be. But as a general rule, these glass windows should be about three quarters full, okay? Now, if you've got too much oil in the bike, it's not a big deal, but it can cause you to blow gaskets, especially in dirt bikes. If you've got not enough oil in the bike, this is a big deal and you need to be doing something about it. Okay, let's have a quick look at the Honda XR uh, and this would be the same on a Honda Blade. So the first thing you need is a way to undo the, uh, what would you call it? Oil... Oil filler cap. Oil filler cap. You can either do this one time, uh, you know, when you're picking up the bike and then you have it nice and loose, you can do it by your hand. You can buy 11 in our stores and that will give you some pliers. These are amazing. Right. What is it, lefty loosey, righty tighty? It should be, as it's always been for the last 100 years. <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Hello. <laughs> Damn, I'm famous. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna unscrew it. Um, we're gonna clean it with a rag So it's nice and clean now. Let's be real you're out there on the road. So you probably only got a tissue Whatever works your t-shirt will do You really do want to try and not get this dirty though or try and avoid getting mud uh, in here That would be nice if you didn't do that Okay, so that's done now. We're gonna screw it all the way back in and we're gonna make the bike level just like we talked about with the cd okay so it's level now now we're gonna unscrew it and we'll see where we're at so every dipstick is different on different bikes but it, basically you're looking to have the oil on the bumpy bit so this would be full down here would be empty so you could argue this bike has too much oil in but basically it's fine it's good now that's done and we can screw it back up again Okay, so what, what do you do if you're running out of oil? The first thing is you should be doing this at least every two days because then you can detect if the oil level is going down. If the oil level is going down, what do you do? You go to a mechanic shop, 
you buy a bottle of oil and you regularly, every two days, you top it up to make sure the oil level is at the right level. You don't have to drain all the oil out and start from the beginning, just top it up. Buy one bottle of oil, off you go. No big deal. This will avoid any problems with oil leaks. You don't have to worry about it. If the bike's leaking oil, just keep topping up. Pistons burning oil, doesn't matter. Keep topping it up. It will get you thousands and thousands of kilometers in that time frame. doesn't matter. If you can't find the exact oil that you want, just buy any oil. Some oil is better than no oil. These bikes will run on basically anything. Just make sure that it's got oil. So we're going to talk about black oil or dirty oil. It's a bit of a myth on the internet that black oil is old. In reality, from spanking new oil that's basically colorless to the oil going black is only a few hours of use in a motorbike. To save myself some support emails, when you check your oil, it will be black. That doesn't mean it's old. You can tell the age of oil through color, but it takes a lot of experience. What you're actually looking for is a metallic -y look, not, not so much about black. You can also tell through the way, the thickness of the oil, but it takes a lot of experience. It's not something uh, a normal weekend rider is gonna be able to figure out. So the oil will be black. Doesn't mean it's old. The second thing is at this company on bikes 150 cc and below, we instruct customers to change the oil every thousand kilometers. Now this is a lot, but it's also because the bikes here burn through oil. The XR will run out of oil after about three to 4,000 kilometers. It's, it's not breaking because the oil is old, it breaks because it's run out. And that's the same with a Honda Blade. Now, if we're instructing our customers to change every 1,000 kilometers, this is a lot. So even if that customer before you forgets to do an oil change, it's still being changed fairly recently and our mechanics are instructed to change oil. So your oil is not going to be old if you're renting from us. It just will run out. On big bikes above 150 cc, so the CB, the CRF, we tell customers do not change for oil. And this is because they can run a very long time without oil changes and we put in proper fully synthetic oil. So it's a bit of a different game. But if you do have an oil leak, you should be topping it up, okay? Don't just let it run out. So let's talk about the bikes and what oils um, they take. Basically, all of the Honda bikes here take 10W40. Any brand is fine. But what we would like is if you can go to Honda head shops. You do that by typing Honda head into Google Maps. The problem with backstreet mechanics here is they can, if you sort of drop your bike off and then you go buy a drink, they can pretend to change the oil, not actually do it. But they'll still charge you for it. They can also use fake oil. So a Honda head just, you know it's done, it's done well. 10W40, semi-synthetic on the XR, Honda Blade, all those. Now on the big bikes, uh, the CB, the CRF, we instruct you not to change the oil. But if you want to know, uh, they take the road bikes take 10W40 fully synthetic, and then the off-road bike is going to take 10W50 or so fully synthetic. But you shouldn't be having to deal with that. If you end up using 10W40, that's fine, no worries. So the Honda XR takes one liter of oil. Now this is a bit annoying because Vietnamese mechanics have bottles of 800 uh, milliliters. So they'll often charge you for two bottles of oil to get that one liter. It's normal. Uh, the Honda Blade does use 800 milliliters of oil, so it's just one bottle, easily done. And then the big bikes, uh, so the Honda CRF250 takes 1.8 liters of oil. So again, that's basically two bottles. The Honda CB500X takes 2.7 liters of oil. So that is, uh, it's quite a lot. <laughs> To wrap this video up, I'm just gonna talk about dropping the bike in water. If you drop the motorbike in a river and it gets fully submerged, you need to change the oil two or three times because you'll have water in the engine, it'll all drain out, and basically the mechanic flushes the engine out, change the oil, change the oil, change the oil. If you do this, the bike will continue to work. Off you go. If you just leave it, the bike's gonna break. It's got debris in the engine and it, and it will fall apart real quick. And it's amazingly how common it is for people to drop bikes in deep water in Vietnam. No worries from our perspective, just go straight to a mechanic, change the oil several times. Then you get, keep checking those oil levels and then you won't have major problems.